Hello everyone. I just attended a five-day uh, seminar with um, Tony Robbins on Business Mastery and he introduced some really incredibly high successful business owners, including Steve Wynn, who basically has um, created all the different um, companies and hotels in Las Vegas and is some double billionaire or something like that. And he had just talked, he's in his 80s, and he joined us in the big Zoom um, seminar. And one lesson I learned from him when he was talking, he was super humble, um, was about team recognition. He said his success really came out of teams taking it to the next level. And the culture of celebration was really something that stood out for me and that reminded me how important celebration is. And I decided to share that with you today. So celebration is something that, that really helps for us to embody our learning. It helps to recognize our achievements, to celebrate our achievements. Our mind is so much um, conditioned to work with problems and issues and things that don't work that it needs to be reconditioned and repatterned to look at what actually is working. And it gives our self-esteem, our confidence, an enormous boost to actually recognize achievements and to celebrate those. So this Tony is like a real star in celebration. This whole course was about celebrating anyone who shared anything and shared their achievements. And it, it brings this sort of yes, I have something to offer in this world. And yes, my business is worth something. And for the team leaders and businesses out there, um, I know from my own work with team culture that every time I go in, I ask like, what is your celebration routine? How do you celebrate each other? When do you celebrate? And it often sort of really falls flat, particularly here when I work in Australia. And I don't know what it is, but there is this sort of shyness around celebrating really each other. And it, it looks like that the team members are really working so much harder when they get celebrated and when good achievements and people who are going the extra mile for the customer and going over and above to what they have to do is celebrated. That really gives their buy-in into the company and creates creates really an amazing culture of people who are fully engaged with their clients and really will bring your brand alive. So I can can only stress, um, you know, how important it is and how I have experienced this again, how it really embodies your learnings, it embodies your achievements. So think about how you can celebrate. It can be by recognition. So Steve Wynn um, from Las Vegas, he had a news wheel, for example. Now he worked in these massive hotels with like 3000 plus staff and they had a news wheel once a month. Where actually people, journalists went around and looked at where their staff did something beyond what they had to do. They gave their customers an extra, extra service and helped really get out of their way to help them. And the staff, when they saw that and get really publicly recognized and celebrated, they they felt inspired to give their biggest contribution as well. So it was a lot about racing service, acknowledgement um, and appreciation of the help that created an enormous buy-in culture and an enormous success, certainly for Steve Wynn and I can see it for Tony Robbins as well. So I leave you with that. Think about how you can celebrate your teams and how you, your staff members to create a culture of celebration. And even in your own life, how can you create a culture of celebration? Um, I see you in the next video.